Facebook and your business. This presentation is based on a blog post that I made called Facebook 101 Business Guide. To see further information on this post and others that are useful for business and Facebook, please go to calhounjl.blogspot.com. The first thing you're going to need to do is sign up for an account on Facebook. So you go to facebook.com and click sign up. After you've done that, you're going to follow these instructions. The first thing you're going to want to do is edit your profile. So in the top right hand side of the screen, you'll see where it says home, find friends, and I used Jackson for this presentation, but you'll click on your name. That will bring up a, thing, a screen where you can click to update your info. So you click on update info. Once you've clicked on update info, then the next thing you're going to do is look and go under basic information. You'll see and you're going to click on edit. After you click on edit, the next thing you're going to do is look for where it says birthday and you'll see this icon here. You'll click on this icon and under there you're going to select only me and then save it. After that you're going to go down and find where it says about you and you're going to click on edit and write something about yourself or your business that people that you want people to see. Then you're going to go back to the top of the page where you're going to upload a picture. You'll click on add profile picture which will bring you to a screen where you can browse your computer and find the photo that you want to upload. Once you've completed uploading your photo then the next thing you're going to do is click on find friends. Once in there you'll have the ability to find friends by other social media that you may be using or by sending invitation by email to your friends. Then you're going to click and then select privacy settings. You'll click on the little gear over here which will pop up a screen and then you'll click on privacy settings. Once you're inside privacy settings on the left hand side of the screen you'll see this figure here. There's different tabs for different items that you can set for how you want your Facebook page to look and run. After that, then you're ready to create your Facebook business page. Six things you need to think about before you sit there and prepare to make your Facebook page. First is your objective. Be clear on what your primary purpose is for your Facebook page. Examples include raising brand awareness, enhancing customer service, building your email list, driving traffic back to your blog, building your community, etc. Then you have to think of the design strategy. Once you're clear on your objectives on your Facebook page, the design needs to reflect that. Say your primary objective is to build your email list you'll need to feature at least one opt-in box. After that, you have to think of the content strategy. Ideally, just as with your blog, you'll have an editorial guide which includes a plan for publishing a mix of updates, photos, videos, and links. Next thing you'll do is get your promotion strategy. Now, you'll build it and need to ensure they come. There are many ways to promote your Facebook page inside fo Facebook, outside Facebook, and online. Then you have to think of your engagement strategy. Now you're starting to gain traction but you'll need to allocate resources to ensure your Facebook page is being monitored and moderated. If not always by you, then by your team. The last thing is your conversion strategy. I usually find the tipping point in social media is between 500 and 1,000 fans, followers, friends, email subscribers. You'll start to see measurable results with this size group. 
You'll be building trust and loyalty among your fan base with consistently good content and reliable responses. Once you've completed all that, then what you're going to do is go down to the bottom of the page and you'll see where it says create page. Once you click on create page, it'll bring up a screen where you can select the type of page you want. For this demo, I, I had selected local business. You're going to fill in the information. You'll choose a category, put your business or place name, your street address, city or state, zip code, phone, and then you'll need to click on I agree to the Facebook terms and click get started. The next thing will be you'll fill in the information on the next screen and then you're going to click save information. After that you'll add a photo again and click save photo. It's the same way you did for the beginning part of the demonstration. Then you're going to add it to your favorites and click next. At that point you can either select add payment method where Facebook will assist you in doing some type of advertising for you or you can click skip if you'd rather do it on your own. Now you're ready to start adding content to your Facebook. In summary, within this demonstration you were guided through how to create a Facebook account and how to create a fan page. Also how to set settings on both of those pages. For more information and helpful tips please check out my blog at calhounjl.blogspot.com. Thank you very much.